This is information required for registration. Carpet area of the apartment is required for registration. So they will ask me that 25 flats of this much size and 20 flats of this much size. And if my architect is genius, every flat will have different carpet area, then I have to write all the flats of different carpet areas. So that will be required along with the terrace area and balcony. I, my suggestion is that finalize specification amenities in advance before you launch the project. We are not come to ongoing project, but I'm saying new project if you're launching, be clear about what are the specification and amenities which are going to be there after two years or completion period. By the time our project comes to completion, new things mushroom around us and our sale gets affected. So when you have a project design, I'm sure intelligent people are there, but I'm telling you somebody who is not thinking about it, that you must design a project that knowing at the stage when we start marketing what is going to be competition around me, accordingly I will decide my specification amenities. This is something which is funny. When we work, I work in Middle East, I work in Europe. On the day one, we used to get full set of drawings. Working drawings, architectural drawings, landscape drawings, fitting drawings, window, hook, clip, RCC, everything, m &E drawings, everything. Here we work differently. We get excavation drawing and my friend tells me, to excavation to complete car. I clean drawing. I said, I I said, I I You may have to insist on your consultant that I want all the drawings on day one. Don't start a project. I'm recommending don't start a project because you don't know construction cost. There may be cantilever, there may be steel. I have seen buildings with 5 kg per square foot steel to 15 kg per square foot steel because elevation has changed because there are more cantilevers because the stands are different. And if you don't know, when you give estimation construction cost, I'm going to tell you this is a magic figure in the era. It will be wrong. So you must insist. I want day one. All specifications, cement, steel, tar steel, what specification, everything I want to know. Okay. Then arrive at, this is period of construction. I am supposed to write in every agreement period of construction. There is a complaint and let me share with you. I went to meet Vankaya Nadu last year on various issues of RERA. He gave us patient hearing and he told me I am going to reject everything. Because do you know that before you two hours there were bankers and there were customers groups of 500 people here and they were all complaining against you. You developer first behave yourself. And this he warned in front of 10 developers, Kredai president was there of India and he took me that you tell him I kept mum because the allegation from central cabinet minister was such heavy and it meant that he had no faith in me. It was an insult. I felt insulted but then that's the situation today. So our responsibility is to create the faith in the customer that whatever I say, I will promise and give you. So, calculate all this. Construction period if I miss. And if my customer says, Ki, nahin, bola tha, tu bhi, May 2016, mein flat ka, my children will have to shift here. And now you are saying December, I want my money back. I am supposed to give money back to the customer within 30 days. I may not have money in my bank account. No choice. I must give money back. And if one guy will ask money back, I'm sure there'll be 10 others who will ask money back. And if I don't have that money, I hope project ready. Only fault is that it's four months late. Be careful, you must know. Various friends suggest Maiwan Vapro, tunnel form Vapro. There have been shuttering method. Then I see some TV somewhere. Germany, I go and see that new system has come in the tour. Haan, ye shuttering system is very big, but if your project is delayed, then you are responsible. So the day one, I told you initially, make the phase as small as possible, so that it's in your control. You know exactly what's going to happen till the end of the project, including shuttering system, whether you're going to have precast, we don't use it, but precast, 
whether you're going to have a batching plant on the side, whether you're going to get ready mixed concrete, whether it's a small project, all this you must know. Everything should be known to us till date end. Our difficulty is that we start a project and suddenly FSR becomes from 1 to 1.5. Then we go to Shashi Deshbuk and say, Abhi, kaisa adjust karne ka 1.5. Then he says, the building is not strong. Then we will have a lot of seal. Then we will have a lot of seal. Then we will So this sort of thing will not happen. Partly it will happen. I will come a little later. But this should not be done now. Otherwise my construction period will go to 5 hours. This is one important subject. Of brochure, website, advertisement, model, holding. All should be synchronized. And there is big message going on from Bombay developers. And even when I was coming, I saw it. Whether I should withdraw all the holdings. You must have seen the impact of RERA. That first of May, second of May. In Times of India, there is no advertisement from developers. RERA started working. So government must be happy that RERA created an atmosphere that developers are following it. If you are not registered a project, you cannot sell. This is an important law. Let me elaborate this here. That three months window is given for registration. From 1st of May, three months window is given for registration. As our Prime Minister and the UD Minister mentioned that they do not want the real estate industry to come to standstill. They want us to continue our work sale market so three months window is given it doesn't mean that i can do what i want in three months bet diya mal jo bhi de diya rera has come into existence on first of may the window for registration is only three months for registration but rera act has come but if i am not registered and this is my personal view get it checked with your solicitor advocate advisor that i can continue selling as per mofa I can continue my advertisements. Very important thing I'm telling you, it is my personal view which could be wrong. So, because, but once the registration takes place, I apply for registration, then I cannot do anything. So the draft of agreement, question is, whether my draft agreement changes from first of me? Yes. Because ERA draft is required now first of me. But I don't have registration number. Don't write registration number. But the carpet area and five years warranty and everything else will be RERA. RERA has come from 1st of May in India. So that has to be followed. The window of 90 days is for registration. Look at that clause properly. And next is that, again all these are my personal advices to the friends. I am publicly mentioning this. Don't go by this. If you don't follow this, good. If you follow this, God help you. Now, brochure mentioned the version and the date. So that somebody files a case, we must be able to tell them that on this date is printed. And this is the version of the brochure. We have to put the registration number of RERA even on brochure, even on holding, even on advertisement. But I do not have registration even from 1st of May. Start following this. Your brochure of March and April 16, 17 will work. If you even if you show a little later because it is difficult to prove that the brochure is old. Intelligent people have understood what I am saying. Next is that, this is one issue which we have. I am supposed to give five years warranty for the entire, it's not structural defects warranty only. MOFA was saying three years structural defect warranty. And nobody is raising a But now it's a systems defect also included in five years. If I am providing white goods, somewhere because of competition, I provide AC, kitchen equipment, and uh, fridge, and things like that. Do I have five years warranty from them? If Godrej has not given me five years warranty, and in one redevelopment project we said computer also. Computer, um, there is emergency power because of competition, we don't want to lose, so we do this. Five years warranty is included for that or not, check it. Mention specification of material I mentioned, that marble and natural stone and things like that. We should not be held responsible, held responsible. Later, for because I don't know, I don't create marble in my house and the color might fade. So, those things, sanitary wear and manufactured things is fine. Registration of RERA required everywhere, I told you. This is a very interesting thing, show flat. I see everywhere that, uh, in fact, one developer I went and saw the show flat. And uh, let me request here that this is the speech for my friends. 
this is not for press and public this is only given as a friendly advice to my friends sitting here who are members of mchi and kalyan and other associations of mchi and then we have show flat that cupboard is shown kitchen equipment shown everything is shown what i am going to make and what is in show flat is no match somebody might file a case that what you are showing here i take mobile photograph and keep a record with somebody that this is what it is and what you are giving at is different be careful about the show flats where you are constructing what you are showing in the show flat out of enthusiasm sometimes to show something is very good we show something which you are going to make so be careful about it ha ah. land cost our business is dependent on the money of the production of the product but money which we are going to get is a very important issue that land costs i have to fill in land costs go through that section in the rules your act doesn't prescribe but the rules describe exactly land cost is we have worked very hard all very senior developers have worked hard to see that the land cost is exactly what it is unfortunately the interest on land cost is not included in the government we are represented to government but everything else is included tdr cost and in case of redevelopment what i am doing for the existing flat holders is also land cost here because that's how i get fsi and government is accepted i'll tell you government was so receptive in last so many years i have found that government was receptive to our suggestions because don't forget that government also want housing by 2022 and if we withdraw it will be difficult job so government is also interested that we do your business and we don't stop the business okay so here is land cost tdr cost and fungible fsi cost all that is required if you have paid premium to corporation for getting land approval all that is land cost and there is a construction cost which is got interest i have taken project finance interest for project owner land cost interest is not included unfortunately it is missed out but supposing my grandfather has gifted land to me in my books land cost is zero because it has come in inheritance land is there then government is give me facility that as per present asr that land cost you include i tell you such a great relief we have when i come to withdraw of money and if you get that point such a great relief is there because of this uh, construction cost i told you all this you must know on the day one if you don't know cement price going from 250 to 450 sometimes my problem steel going high my problem sometimes granite tile great rating from 55 to 120 my problem as a developer so you have to include all this cost in mofa there was one clause in the rule that inflation increase of material cost i could charge from purchasers or flat purchasers nobody used to charge but there was a provision that i could charge this rera doesn't give that option rera gives option for only one inflation that if corporation increase premium then you can ask it from the purchaser otherwise nothing else everything is included in my price of the agreement which i am doing no inflation is included estimated construction cost i mentioned to you finalize everything and uh, sometimes some developers are kaise final karenge uh, let me tell you that all over middle east and many places in europe indian architect indian structural engineer indian engineers are working and this is all done there and we are doing it there so don't tell me it's not possible it is definitely possible we have to work on it and we are very intelligent people that if we start working on it over a period of time that become habit this is must for us now and because mind well that sales rate keeps on increasing how many of us have thought about increase in construction cost theek hai yaar thoda badh gaya abhi 200 rupya badh gaya lekin sales rate bhi 1000 rupya bada no more it may not happen now so we have to be very careful whatever construction cost i save that is my profit i re i reduce the wastage on site that's my profit so these issues will come up as to how to save wastage of material on site how to save wastage of over ordered things 4000 tiles are required by site the purchase man orders 5000 site wala bolta hai thoda rehne do yaar kabhi toot jata hai lagta hai wagaire 
and those tiles remain at the end of the site, there's a waste of your money. So this planning will be required for that. Finalize amenity specification. Every word in the brochure, everything you need to be finalized. You know in advance which is what landscaping is going to come, where children's garden is going to come, where senior citizens' park is going to come, what I'm going to give in gym. Normally for that we know, but these are the things we start thinking at the end. All this we must know. Finalize your contractor and structure in here. Contractor's appointment is most important because our construction schedule depends on him or her. If the contract is with material, more so. If contract is only labor, then I have part of the responsibility of supplying material in time. Because contractor will find reasons. So this planning is required. What I am trying to do is estimated construction cost. Top line. I have to arrive at that. In RERA, this is the target. Estimated construction cost before I register a project. If there is a penalty on me, it is based on estimated construction cost. If I don't deliver in time, estimated construction cost. Maybe up to 10% penalty on estimated construction cost. Sometimes, if my if my, if my delivery is faulty, the penalty is on estimated construction cost. If my title is faulty, penalty is on estimated construction cost. Everything is based on estimated construction cost. So, get it done from professional people, your estimate for the project, get it checked once again, so that you are not looking into the dark for this figure. Estimated construction cost, arriving at estimated construction cost is my goal for RERA. Everything revolves from estimated construction cost. My overheads, I must know depending upon the side of the project. As to how many engineers I am going to have, how much site staff I am going to have, how many marketing guys I am going to have. Site and office overheads, all this is included in the estimated construction cost. This is one figure of interest cost, I don't know. Mal bikai nahi, interest cost is more. Mal pahle din bikiya, interest cost is less. But now we have to see and take a call. As to what might be my interest. And that's why bankers are very happy after ERA. They feel that now we will also know. Those foreign investment guys I was talking yesterday, they are very happy after ERA. They are going to put in a lot of funds in India for real estate development now. Because something reliable has come now for them. Investment, some very equity investment guys, very large financial institutions, they are happy. Because they say, haan, esti abhi da, ata kar le, estimated construction cost ka hai nji raha Otherwise, they do not know. So this figure, I am again telling you, repeating, if you don't know how to calculate, get professional help. There are so many professional guys now coming in the market and some people we know in Thane and Kalyan, they are expert on estimation, get it done. Some developers like Chetan Bhai, they are themselves experts. So confirm with the friends that I am taking this, whether it is right or wrong. Other cost, litigation cost. Project start kiya, there is some litigation. How do I know what's going to be my litigation cost? You have to presume. Because you purchase the property, so it's up to you to decide roughly kya case ho sakta hai, whether it will go to high court, whether it will go to Supreme Court, what sort of counsel I'm going to appoint, how many hearings will happen. You do what you like. Customer must know date of delivery and the price and the specifications. Everything else is your business risk. If you can't take this risk, don't do this business. Shuttering method, construction, I told you the time period is there because of construction period. And next is that you have to open a bank account, 70%. You tell me stop, I'll stop. Okay. Friend, this RERA is such a subject that if you have to speak for a whole day, it will go on. Because I am not going to tell you now in this session how to fill up the form. Filling up the form itself is a three hour session. I am not going to tell you how to get architect certificate and site engineer certificate and charter accountant certificate. That itself is two, three hours business. So I am going to give you an overview of RERA so that you know exactly what to look at. You must open a bank account for 70% amount. You don't have to go to the scheduled bank for 30% account. Because when we take money, we take separate account for the uh, MSCB charges and other charges and society registration and share certificate and time duty, all that could be separate account. 70% is not for that. 70% amount you must keep in the scheduled bank and inform 
at the time of filling up the form to the authority. Insurance of the project most of us are doing till construction period is over. After that, we have to pass on the insurance to the society or association. But here is one thing now. Insurance of title. Ah, first time in my life in India, I heard this word two years back. Insurance of title. And I don't know how insurance of title I'm going to give. Myself do not know <laughs> what is the title of agricultural land and what's going to happen from 1950 and somebody gets up that right hai. God knows, yeah. But we are promised by government, central government, that they will derive some system by which insurance of title will come. Then what will be the premium? I don't know. I have to pay premium till I give possession. Thereafter, society will give premium. But there is word in the act that I am, as a developer, responsible for the title in perpetuity. So, 25 years from giving possession, if I am not able to hear and speak also, and there is a claim on the title, I am responsible for the title. And that's the reason I told you about the title in the beginning. That's the fundamental foundation of our investment and the business is on the title. So check that title very carefully. Ah, now 70% money has come. I sold. Uh, let's imagine a situation that I have flats, each flat costing 1 crore rupee. And at the plinth, before plinth, I can't take more than 10% money. And I get one installment of 10 lakh rupees. Out of 10 lakh rupees installment from purchase, 3 lakh I have taken over. 7 lakh rupees goes to this account of 70% account. It's a schedule bank account. It's not an escrow account. Nobody else is going to jointly sign. But if I have to withdraw money from that account, I have to beg to architect for certificate of percentage of work done. So architect will say, office Mala Udya Then I don't want to say this. I just take it lightly. But then Architects, there is a first certificate required of percentage of the individual work done. There is a met, there is a form given in the rules, but uh, this is a very very important stage. If I do work, I take loan, I take bank finance, and I do loan, I sell flat, and that money is lying in that account. What is the point? I want that money to spend. Friend, this is the most important second point. Estimated construction cost and how do I withdraw my legitimate money from 70% account? These are the only two issues and title third issue. In RERA, you have to be very careful. In, then I get my say, percentage completion from architect and then I go to site engineer. Maybe my own site engineer. Maybe external site engineer. Maybe we'll start appointing quantity surveys like which happens in Europe and Middle East everywhere. The QS survey comes. New, new, new breed will get generated that they will come and calculate quantities, every bill comes. But this is an actual cost incurred in their certificate, their names have to be written. So who is architect, who is engineer, who is chartered accountant, all those names are required. And after these two are happened, then I go to my chartered accountant. And he will find out from my books how construction costs and land costs, sorry, how much construction and land costs I have spent till that date. Mind well that I have done plinth, doing all this, my third slab has also come. So how do you design this system? It's a, it's a whole thing. How do you design this system that within three, four days it happens? And you go to bank. That's up to you, depending upon the type of organization you have. Large organization will take longer time. Smaller organization will take less time, but that you must design a system that this happens as fast as possible, otherwise you will be paying interest on the borrowed money on one side. And here is your money lying without interest to you. And then the, the chartered account will give certificate about the cost incurred for the land and construction cost till that day on the land till that construction cost. And this is a magic formula. And chartered account will also give percentage of cost incurred to the total estimated cost. So supposing total estimated cost is 100 crore rupees and by that date I have spent 30 crore rupees on land and 20 crore rupees on construction. So he will give 20 plus 30 is 50 divided by 100. So he will say 50% work done. 
and then maximum amount I can withdraw from that 70% account is this percentage of estimated construction cost. I told you four or five times estimated construction cost is a magic figure here. If you miss it, if the calculation is wrong, if it is higher than yours, you are at loss. If it is lower, you are at loss. So how you figure out estimated construction cost is most important to withdraw that money from there. You may require second session to do this further as to how to do it. Now quarterly update has to be given. In the regulation, it's very thing, funny thing that outside chartered accountant will observe once in a while as to these three guys have done their job or not. And if these guys have not done their job properly, he will inform the association of chartered accountant and association of architects to take action against them. And he will inform authority that I have taken this action. I don't know which chartered accountant is going to do all this. But this is what is mentioned there. So quarterly update, if there are cases pending, if I have got new permissions from corporation, please that happen, some RCC work is done, fire permission has come, environment permission has come, I can keep on uploading those permissions. And there is a special space on the website where some information is given by authority, which I have given at the time of registration, and some information I as a developer, I have to up, keep on uploading because this is not a static information. These are dynamic information. How many parking are sold? How many open parking are sold? What has happened? How many flats of what so sold? Any litigation, new litigation has come. So all there is a changing information which I am supposed to upload on the website. My suggestion to you friends that uh, various uh, sessions like this and uh, as I have mentioned in the beginning that uh, we don't get permission in time. We do respect and regard to everybody in corporation. They have their own limitations. But authority is higher level of corporation. Authority under ERA is that level. And if you see the job of authority, job of authority is also to get central single window clearance. See that our permissions come faster. Advice to government of Maharashtra as to how housing stock could increase and what should be method to be followed. If you have applied for a plane certificate and for some reason that my uh, supervising fellow is unable to come, keep authority informed. I have applied for environment permission. Sorry, which is not coming for one year. Let authority know that I have genuinely applied. See, authority is also human being. You will say that you applied. If not applied only, then the of course I am at fault. But I have applied, I can prove. Sir, I applied. They can, authority has a right to call any authority from corporation, environment department, anybody and ask explanation. These authorities are given in RERA. Authority is supreme now. So we can go to them and tell them that it's not my fault, I did my level best. This one issue is there that we do material testing, cube testing is done 14 days, 28 days, steel comes on the site, we test steel. Keep all this record properly. If somebody files a case against you for bad workmanship or bad system, then you must have some record to prove that everything was done properly. Normally, I, have, I, I know my friends that this is not bothered. Kitna flat becha or kitna payment aya. Isse bhi jada now what is happening on site is important. When I was handling site, I used to go to every site 6 o'clock in the morning, every day. When it was small, I still like to go to site. But my many, many friends, they don't like to go to site. I am engineering background, so I love it. But go to your site to see what's happening. It is our bread and butter. So we must go to site, see what's happening there. Whether it is records once in a while, not every day, but record is kept properly, test record is kept properly, material purchase record is kept properly on site. Office, of course, you know, but this you must have. And the material marketing department communicates, I told you. Letters will require them to be referred after two, three years. So entire communication, wherever it is. One copy should come to your office and there should be record of this site that number number wise this record is there. If there is a case against you, you have to produce all that in front of authority. <clears throat> this is natural if architect, engineer, somebody is changed, we have to inform authority there is a place that we can change this name, there is no issue. Sales and marketing staff should be made, should be trained properly. Sometimes our marketing guys give information on phone. Out of enthusiasm, say, ah, ho jayega, possession, mein mein mil jayega. 
somebody must be recording it. And that recording could be proved in the court that this has come from your particular office and the promise was given. You can't say that, no, no, that fellow didn't know anything about it. That becomes commitment from your company. So be careful as to what your people are telling others. Even SMS sent, even WhatsApp sent is a commitment. I told you about keep the authority, authority is our friend, authority is our my bab. So keep them informed of all good things we have done. We are not going to do anything bad, we are not going to do anything wrong and authority has promised us that they will look at all these things. You plus do your job properly and authority is with us. Formation of society, I tell you that this is something which is great relief from Chief Minister of Maharashtra and the entire housing department to us that the deemed conveyance is now gone. That deemed conveyance which was troubling us, that balance building is there and take society, sir, I was with uh, highest authority and I mentioned about the society's permission they required for the TDR but now the RERA is saying different thing. So they said give representation here and we'll consider that particular circular because now what is happening is that if 51% Lads are booked, booked, huh? possession not given, book. Then I am supposed to form a society. And the concern with developers are once I form the society, there will be problem on site. This concern is not proper now. We must form a society when 51% lads are booked and this construction is still going on. But if, and then everything is fine, society is formed. And the conveyance comes. And we are concerned about giving conveyance, not because we don't want to give conveyance. Once we give conveyance, lots of issues come. That sometimes some people say that society doesn't allow us to come inside the property. How do I go there? My balance work is there. My balance exercise is there. Now it's a different issue altogether. So once you form a society and they are with you, then in case of single building, if in the agreement of sale, if you are mentioned in case of single building, then I'm going to give conveyance after seven years. For seven years, nobody is going to ask you for conveyance. Okay? That doesn't mean that I should read 100 years. If it goes in the court, it will be a challenge. So reasonable extension include and put it in the agreement to sell, then you don't have to convey, give conveyance till that time. If you are not mentioned anything, then three months from the date of formation of society, the deemed conveyance comes into play. I told you in the initial stages that MOFA is still alive. MOFA is not dead. Some clauses of MOFA have gone superseded by RERA, but MOFA still exists. So whatever is mentioned in MOFA about conveyance exists today. Of course, government is thinking of modifying MOFA, so it becomes simple for us to understand. And law department of government of Maharashtra is thinking as to how to do it, but it will take time. It will take probably two years because it's a very complex situation. And that MOFA is alive only in Maharashtra. There are other states where it is not alive. So it's differently because some people are working outside Maharashtra also. So MOFA is existing, single building conveyance. The great relief is formation of apex body. The apex body was not defined anywhere earlier, not in the Cooperative Societies Act, but now RERA defines what is apex body. So very good suggestion is given to us by government that in case of layout of building, suppose you have four towers, every tower you give conveyance of a structure to the society and at the end of fourth tower and the, redevelop and the RG development and the clubhouse, that conveyance for the ground, podium, parking, if it is there, RG, that you give to the apex body because that is maintained by the apex body and every tower is maintained by individual society. This is a workable structure and this is now officially come into RERA. So there is no issue on that. Period of conveyance I mentioned to you. Friends, thank you very much. But we may have some other session about how to fill up forms. We, when I'm saying we, I have a team of 15 young developers from Maharashtra with me, they worked eight days and night on preparing this book. This book is prepared for developers, so that developer can get insight of it. I am not claiming that this book, we are not book writers. 
we are engineers. So based on our experience, we have published a book. We are also working on the second version of this book because over a period of time, we gained, gained some knowledge. But if you read the question and answers there, a lot of your issues will get resolved there in the question and answer. Mind well, the government of Maharashtra website also has question and answers there. Have a look at that website. That website, the two websites, one is that Rera, Maharera website. There is a song from authority and everything is there. But there are also frequently asked questions and act is there, rules are there, regulations are there. You don't have to take any print anywhere. Don't go to bookshop and buy a book. Everything is there on the website. How to fill in a form? That's a complex thing. So, and somebody who is now registered, two developers have registered, their, their projects are not visible today, but within three, four days' time, they'll get registration and their projects will be visible. Have a look at that as to what they have shown before you fill up a form so that you have experience of what's going to happen. Thank you very much. Pardon me that I have to leave because this team of ours is waiting for me in Pune. They have already started a meeting. And I got an SMS that the meeting started, what time you are reaching. So, I am sorry, I am not available at the last session of Ajay Bhai, I am extremely sorry. I got three SMS now and they are so enthusiastic and they come from various places in Maharashtra. You are the boss. You are the boss. You Okay, President Sir is saying that for some time. Thank you, sir. What is the system? I don't know. Is there a mic somewhere? Okay, the mic, but how will it reach? Hello. So, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting with a question answer session right now since Sir has to leave. So, if anyone has any questions, they can raise their hand and we'll see to it that the mic is over there. Okay, I'm going to reduce questions. Have you gone through the book? If the question is answered there, don't ask me. <laughs> okay, doesn't matter. Go ahead. Don't repeat the question again. Don't try to solve your problems here. Yes. You have to give it a fee to the Kredai Thane to get your individual answers. But ask general questions. Just a minute. Let me warn you that I am not the authority on RERA. I will answer you with the rider that you check up my answer with your own case and your own advocate and solicitor and chartered accountant and then take a call. Please go ahead, sir. Sure. Uh, sir, so, uh, in regards to formation of society, as you said that after 50, or as the law act says, that after 51% uh, uh, members, uh, like the stock is sold, you got to form a society. Yeah. So then the uh, MCS act also follows, which says that uh, once a society is formed, so within three months, I have to hold a, constitute a general body meeting and I do a handover. Handover period also follows thereafter. Project is under a stage where I am just, it's, it's, it's work in progress. So how would the three things put, tie together? Understood. If you don't form a society, they will form a society. Simple. Rera has nothing to do with the, I think you understood the answer. If you don't form, they will form. They have a right to form. And you don't form and they don't form, it doesn't matter. RERA is not for cooperative housing society. Let me tell you that 51% is under MOFA. This 60% got reduced to 51% two years back. So RERA only picks up that clause from the Cooperative Society Act. RERA has nothing to do with your society matter. Let me clarify one more point. RERA is a central act. And society formation, convention, and everything are local things, sorry, state things. Central government doesn't want to come and say what you should do in the state. So it's a state act. Your specific question is there, but you need to find solution to it. Maybe later on you can meet me. Hello. I think the speech was so clear Hello. that there are, yeah, there are. Hello. Uh, yeah, just, just a minute, sir, just a minute. Before doing it, sir, we'll start with the uh, last session right now only with your uh, permission. I we'll, would also like to... We have uh, Advocate Borker also with us. So what I would request Borker sir is to please come on stage. And uh, all the queries can be answered by both of them together. He hey, can do hey. the presentation later on. Uh, Borker so sir is our uh, legal I'm advisor, so reputed uh, legal advisor in Thane. I am so much relieved 
that I was all the time thinking I may be giving a wrong answer for legal thing, but I have somebody responsible here, so even I can raise a question. So, uh, legal question, he will, he has his uh, presentation, uh, Burka sir's presentation was next, but due to uh, sudden uh, merchants have has to leave suddenly, so I would request both of them to answer and then sir, you can carry on with the presentation after you, he leaves. Sir, you can also have your Last with the gentleman, you start with the gentleman. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, one question is, uh, you have said that there is a three-month uh, window for applying for registration for ongoing project. Hello? Yes, sir. Uh, there is a three-month window for applying for registration after 1st of May for ongoing project. If suppose the OC is obtained uh, between 1st of May and 31st of July, and the uh, time is there and is it required to apply for registration or it is not necessary, that is one thing. Secondly, uh, a continuation of this, uh, even suppose OC is obtained but uh, flats are unsold, so whether that's 70 percent or anything or will apply like that or uh, it is not required, two things. If the OC is issued within the period of three months, which is a cap provided under the TRERA, I think you need not uh, register yourself under RERA because the concept of registration is such to ensure uh, solace to the flat purchaser that even ongoing projects are covered. But OC, if the ongoing project has reached to the stage of OC and if the OC is delivered within the cap period, uh, then there is no need according to me for the registration for the simple reason that by providing a cap of three months, uh, the application of act is deferred vis-a-vis -vis that particular project. So that for that particular project application is deferred and if in between the OC is issued then no need for registration. If RERA is not applicable then MOFA will continue to apply to that project and so whatever permissions are given under the MOFA to the builders can be availed of. Thank you. I was just now saying, Barker Sahib, that the HS Purchase Sagar is legal. Only you only answer. But let me bring out one clause for registration and applicability of RERA. That it says that 500 square meter and less land, 8 flat and less, redevelopment. And if OC is obtained by 3rd, 30th of July, 30th of April, if you are not fitting into this, you must register. Uh, friend, your second question was, hold on, hold on, I'll come to you. Second question was that, and this is a very common question, so I'm taking up that question without his asking me, that OC is obtained before 30th of April and I have to sell after 1st of May. Do I have to register? I already answered, no, I don't have to register because my OC is obtained. Second issue, project is going on. I am sure I will get OC in next 2-3 months time. Do I have to register? Yes, you have to register because on 30th of April OC was not there. So you need to register. Third thing, that on 30th of April OC was not obtained. However, from 1st of May onwards I am not going to sell anything and my OC will come in December or January 2018 or December 2017. You have to register? Yes, you have to register because your sale will come later on. This window of three months is only for registration. I am repeating what I told you, 1st of May, RERA has already come. This is an ongoing project, of course new project, you must register, you can't even have soft launch or anything, brochure or anything, that everybody is clear about it. Ongoing project, there is a big confusion. So you must register if on 30th you do not have OC. So, you saw there is a difference here itself, so. So, we, we have one question at the front right now. Can anyone get a mic over here? Yes, we will we'll come back to that. We want come back. Yes, can I have a mic quickly at the front? Yes, quickly, quickly. Oh, yeah, please. Also, I think there are two mics behind as well. Can the fellow with the mic raise their hand? Okay, fine. Please, sir, your question. In my case, I'm here, sir. 
in my case, we completed our construction work in the building in the year 2011. Mine is a SARE project. <coughs> Thane Municipal Corporation gave us occupancy certificate for all complete slum component and for the sale component up to 15th floor with the condition that we should get an OC from environment for the floor 16 to 20th OC. We approached environment till date we haven't got the clearances. <coughs> violation was registered. We accepted the violation. We have paid the penalty also into the court. Now in my case, the OC is pending, flats are sold. Construction completed in 2011. Do I need to register? Have you obtained OC on 30th August? OC I obtained in 2011 up to 15th floor. No. If OC, I'm repeating, if OC is not obtained on 30th of April, you have to register. Maybe not your fault, maybe somebody's fault, maybe corporation didn't give, maybe environment you applied. OC is not obtained, you have to register. You have three months window, that sir said that. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Wind, window is there. So now the entire project is to be registered. See, okay. you are taking free advice from me. <laughs> and you must pay something to MCHI Thane. <laughs> you decide, I told you, what is the phase now you are marketing? The My, fa phase you decide. What is the... And no marketing, it is already sold. You have to register. Because RERA also you have obligations of conveyance, society formation, five years warranty. Society is registered. You have not conveyed the land yet. It's a government land. I said I am SRA. I did a SRA project. I'll come to you separately on to this. I feel up. that I have a limited knowledge of law. The boss is sitting here. But hearing you few words, I feel you need to register. See, according to me, you should approach the authority with the procedural part of registration. Then authority has a right to decide whether you require a registration or not. In my opinion, there is no clarity so far as such type of situations are concerned. So the best way is to approach the authority because under RERA, now authority is as good as Supreme Court for all of us. There may be a tribunal, there may be a high court, uh, so far as ladders are concerned. But for any problems, you have to go to the authority. Authority is meant to solve your problems. So this is a problem for which there is no apparent solution provided right now in the rules. And therefore the best way is to go before the authority by way of the same procedure which others will adopt for the purpose of registration. Because actually this is a very very rare case. Yeah, yeah. It's a very very rare and case. And while, while making any enactment now, the legislature cannot anticipate each and every eventuality. So that each and every eventuality has to be put up before the authority so that the law will evolve ultimately. Just a minute, sir. Just a minute. We'll come back with it. See, there are certain cases where the application for OC is made and within 21 days OC is not granted, no requisition is raised. So by virtue of provisions of MRTP Act, there is a case of DIM OC also. Even in that cases, RERA is silent. RERA doesn't take into consideration all these repercussions. And therefore, the best way is to approach RERA to the authority, make the application as prescribed under the format. There is a procedure of scanning your application. Mo moment you make an application for registration, secretary is there to scan your application. He will raise requisitions. You can raise requisitions before him. And then the decision will be given. No, I think, sir, there are many such cases in Thane or in Mumbai, in many cities that where OC is not obtained and the sale has happened and the people are living there for more than 25 years, as he rightly said, society is formed. See, I, my personal opinion is RERA is for two reasons. One is, of course, uh, completing the projects on time and then if you have to sell projects prior to completing the construction, you have to register. Here, construction has completed and sale also has completed. I think, as you have rightly said, this is something that RERA has not envisioned. There is some, for, I think that the, Either you want to have to approach the authority or consult somebody that whether we really need to go before any authority for any such work because he doesn't have to sell today and he, neither he has to collect any money. Okay. 
case OA is to approach the authority as an advocate, I would also suggest that go to the High Court by way of writ petition. But then don't go to that because I know the High Court will ultimately send you back to the authority and will tell that go and go before the authority, put your grievances, put your problem and let there be a solution at the first instance from the authority itself. And that is what is ultimately provided. Thank you. We will take the question of the gentleman behind. I request you to please stand up. Yes, please. Uh, I have two questions. A, uh, uh, till the time I get my project uh, registered, uh, uh, can I uh, keep on doing the marketing campaign in forms of outdoor media campaigns or digital? Uh, there is a guy over there, sir. Just behind the camera. Just yeah, please and, raise your uh, hand. Yes. Would you please repeat your question? We could not yes. hear it properly. My question is A, uh, till the time I registered my uh, property, can I keep on doing the outdoor campaigns or digital campaigns, marketing campaigns, the advertisements? And B, uh, uh, up to what extent I have to mention the amenities? I am talking about the external amenities in my uh, marketing collaterals. Friends and Creda itself, there are two views on this and you pick up whatever you feel proper and get advice from your legal person. Group of Syria developers are saying that 1st of May you withdraw everything, all holding, all brochure, everything you withdraw. Uh, this is one version. Second senior group is also saying that no, three months you continue, but after registration, moment of registration, then you cannot continue with the earlier thing. I feel the second group is correct. So my uh, second question was, I mean, up to what extent we are supposed to mention the uh, amenities in my marketing collaterals? Up to what extent? Yeah, suppose I say I have a clubhouse, do I need to also write the length and depth of the clubhouse, swimming pool in it? In the agreement to sell or in the brochure? In the brochures. In the brochure. Describe as much as you can, because hereafter that small wording, okay, this is only indication given to get idea, that will not work. So describe whatever you can describe in detail, you write gents room, ladies room, this toilet, that swimming pool, everything you have to describe, maybe I would go one step further as to write sizes also there. So disclaimer is not going to help, that's what you want to say? Sorry, sorry, again. Does that mean disclaimer won't be work? I mean, if I disclaimer discuss, will not work here after. Alright, thank you so thank much. You, sir. I just request all the uh, participants to please limit yourself to one question since there are many participants uh, who want to ask. Just a question. minute. Huh? One more thing. You have to basically disclose everything to the authority when we, when you will approach for the registration. If you see section four, it contemplates disclosure of all and every nature. So, there you have to not only give your plan, which are sanctioned, you are supposed to give your proposed plan also. You have to disclose all other material information, including the advertisement, advertisement brochures, pamphlets, the method of advertisement. So, the basic concept is a, uh, have transparency in your deals. So, the basic object you can't uh, ditch and therefore, there cannot be any variance in what you have disclosed to the authority, what you are disclosing in the agreement and what you will be disclosing by way of publication of brochures, advertisement, etc. Everything should be at par and same. Thank you. Now I request the gentleman in red to please ask the question. Hello. Hello. Uh, I have applied for CC and uh, initially I got uh, uh, IOD and it is lapsed now. So should I register or uh, after getting CC I should register? Is it ongoing project? It's not uh, started yet. <laughs> it's a new project now. Yeah. Simple. So you you apply when you start the project. There is no three three months window for you. You can apply whenever you start in November, December. That time you apply. But previously I got IOD and it has got uh, lapsed. You see, have you sold anything? No. You come, nothing. When you, it's a new project. So you start when it comes to you. Don't give any advance intimation. Because it will change and your registration money is not going to get back. One mind way, one more thing. Uh, government is so fast now, 
that those who have registered on 1st of May and I learned they may get registration in 7 days time. Although the access 30 days, they may get in 7 days time. So the withdrawal of application may not be possible. So that money of registration is then gone. You can't withdraw because the government is acting fast. Thank you. Thank you. Add a gentleman in red, please. Hello. Sir. Sir, I have clarified one point for you. See, I think your question was that you got the sanction plan and then uh, it lapsed or that CC is not issued. And therefore, your question was whether you are supposed to go at this moment to the authority for registration. I think you can go. That is your choice. But what he has advised is absolutely correct because after CC there will be clarity and then if you go, that will be better. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, in the beginning, uh, you mentioned that the authorities are not bound by the RERA Act. And subsequently, in one of the slides, we came to know that in the event that there are no clearances coming, so that has to be uploaded to the website and then approach the RERA authorities. Now, if, the, if it is established that there are no deficiencies in filing the permissions and if there is a delay, now who will the delay be attributed to in the end? Because there are deadlines for delivery and if the permissions are put in proper place and if they are uploaded and if the authorities don't give the permission on time, then the delay is accountable to the builder or the authorities are around in this case. 